Excuse me. Oh, what a terrible time to burp. Oh, there we go. I think I'm out of I got it out of my system. Anyway, this is the sound. Uh, this is this. Ooh, peaking. Peaking. <clears throat> peaking. Peaking. Peaking? Why does they live stream offline? Why does it say that? Why does it say that? Okay. Anyway, I'm online apparently. There you go. Peaking. Peaking. Pe no, it actually sounds pretty good. Actually, it sounds pretty good. It's very loud in my ears, though. Anyway, how I is? It's not been that long. It's been just a happy birthday. There's no birthday. What the hell do you mean? <laughs> How's chins? My chins are fine. Uh, hello. Hi. My hair is very... It's misbehaving today. Hopefully you, you don't mind that much. Hello, Entropy Addict. How are you? Made another stream. Sorry for missing others. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. These are available for uh, Zero Monochrome anymore if you wear blue. Um, also have the, my Pum Pum Pudding glasses case, which is also not very monochrome, but uh, just put that off to the side a bit and then it's fine. My guitars look kind of like half facing each other. That's not, it's not correct. It's not all right. That's more aesthetically pleasing. Let's keep it that way. Also, my face is getting a little bit red, so that's also not monochrome. So excuse me for, uh, for not sticking to the theme that long. How long have you been in China for? Um, almost two months, actually. Did I censor the intro because I, I am in, what intro? What's censored? I don't know what you're saying. Am I not in the gulag? No one's gonna catch me for doing this. It's fine, don't worry about it. My invisible guitar stands. <laughs> like what? <laughs> When's the next part? Uh, it's out in three weeks, I believe, which is four weeks after the, the previous one. First time tuning in. I live here with my with my fiance's family for the moment. China, Chris, oh fuck, China no longer. Chris no longer owns Sonichu. Well, well, we'll see. If you glitched out the she. Well, that's that's right. Yes, because that's um, because hopefully that will stop people saying she, her, every single fucking video. You know, that's why. We are getting glitchier as we approach the event, that is true, and, um... Suzanne so Christian might be the best on YouTube, but has any service like Netflix slash Hulu reached out about picking it up? Yes, um, not picking this up, but approached me to collaborate on some sort of Christian d documentary project, you know, but, um, nothing's confirmed. That, that, that was also a very long time ago, it's probably not gonna happen, um... At least maybe I'll, I'll make some new new connections um, if there's more ideas uh, being spun around around Netflix or, or other places like that. But those plans are gone pretty much because it was up to me to, to do something and I just didn't have the inspiration to do it. Because uh, it's, it, it's kind of tricky to them make a thematic documentary, a, a more streamlined documentary about Chris Chan. I'm going to come up with a, with a theme. A message and uh, this is not what I'm doing my face is not in focus you motherfucker it's not in focus <laughs> why is the laptop in focus hold on I thought I thought autofocus was on anyway just in case that happens again okay there you go um, so yeah the uh, the thing about my documentary over here is that I, I, I have no theme it's just, you know, it's just saying what happens. And uh, there's no message, there's no theme, so... It's not what most documentaries are after. So it's kind of difficult to uh, warp that into, you know, a Christian doc. And uh, Terra Nova, 
I actually got a lot of free time happening now. I'm working so much, and I'm really happy about how much work I'm getting done. So hopefully, T um, CC, no, it's not, not coming. CP is not coming. Uh, Terra Nova is coming, though. I cannot guarantee when, but it will be soon-ish. In case you don't know, uh, I have my documentary channel, Gino Samuel 3, link in the description below for all documentaries that are not about Chris Chan. One of those being is the Terra Nova, The White Silence documentary about the Antarctic expedition from 1910 to 1913, led by a certain Captain Scott. And, and um, this also kind of coincides with the uh, with the upcoming release i guess of frederick newtson's new documentary you know down the rabbit hole that guy he's working on a very long doc for a very long time as well pretty much the same as me it's going to be about six hours long he says and i think mine will be around five and uh we both promised to release it around august of last year and that didn't happen so we'll see we'll see which one's going to release their, their docs first is it me or is uh fred Whichever one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna support him, and uh, you should too. His his one is about uh, Eve Online, the online game thing. Alex Kister just joined. Did he? I missed him actually. Anyway, how I is. So we're just about getting ready to go. Move on with the show. What made you want to do a sponsor in the latest video? Um. Because this this is kind of my my job at the moment, so I might I might as well make money from my job. That's that's basically it, you know. Why else would anyone do sponsorships? Fred hasn't uploaded anything in like two years. Yeah. Does Atlas VPN work in China? I cannot guarantee that, and neither can Atlas VPN. So I will I will not say anything definitive. Did I hear Christian has a beard? Um, there was an interview from Prater with uh, Prater. You know the uh, guys who are making like releasing merch, signed Christian merch officially, and they used to make uh, contraband medallions for a while. Uh, they uh, they also you know like. They, they made the medallions themselves and then just had Chris sign it, you know, and basically called it a Christian medallion. And they gave Chris like 5% of the profits. So so they're apparently, according to that interview, they're apparently still in contact. And uh, Chris is no longer using she, her pronouns as by, by gender, apparently. Has a beard, is collecting money, so then he can sue a bunch of people, apparently. But... I cannot say how trustworthy Prater is, and neither can I say um, how trustworthy the um, the uh, previous jail visit account uh, is. So, so there's two accounts of of how Chris is doing at the moment, and none can be verifiable very much. So, uh, mommy. So, um, so we really, we really don't know what's going to happen until August, I guess, of this year. The Antarctica doc is coming. And I'm completely cool with the sponsorship. I really don't feel bothered by that at all. Thank you. Though I do feel like uh, there's some good constructive criticism concerning that. And I might uh, do it a different way if I have a chance to do another sponsor. Slightly different. But anyway, let's cut the music. And let's uh, switch over to the Chris Chan. So we're going to continue from where we left off last time. Last chill stream. And this should be around uh, Jan uh, March 2010. This is during the Asperpedia, the whole Asperpedia thing. Um, the Chronicles of Christian Aspirations. Great, that's not insulting at all. All right, let's see. Let's see what this is about. There's some stuff about Clyde Cash returning. There's stuff about Alec Benson Leary and his crew called the Asperpedia 4. They're, they're, they're bugging with his Quikipedia site. So I believe the Quikipedia site at this point was vandalized beyond repair. Um, like basically made edits open to everybody. 
everywhere. So you could just go onto that website and just write a whole bunch of bullshit and um, say Chris Chan is gay 500 times and like Chris could not do anything about that. So I think I, th I think this is the, re the response that Chris has. He's very downtrodden and defeated. This message is for Everlast. Maybe do the sponsor before the Patreon at the end of the video. Um, if you ever worked with a, with, with, with a sponsor, that's pretty much the last thing that they would want to hear is to hear their ads at the end of the video where most of the audience drops off anyway. So it, it has to be near the start or around the middle, preferably. So. Goddamn troll that has been pestering me for the past number of years, even the recent ones. I have been in a number of moments finding peace and losing it later because you won't let me be you are such you are a bunch of damn immature dumbasses who have no lives of your own hmm. you don't want me to have a little life of my own you don't want me to find long lasting peace and happiness for myself you don't want me to find and hold true love for myself because you are so sub absorbed in yourselves you don't want you only want me to give you more god dang stories and art than I could give because of my inspiration comes in and out it mostly comes in when I'm happy mm. and at peace which is you, it's, it's, it's an interesting concept you know, because Chris uh, is more creative during his uh, happy times. However, many artists are also more creative during their sad and and, and depressed times. This is an interesting contrast. You know, maybe maybe, maybe it depends on on the person. You know, sometimes you can't work when you're happy. Sometimes you you can't work when you're sad. You know. You are nothing but goddamn greedy, impatient, unloved, and corrupted fools. Heartbreaks and heartaches, they really hurt. They definitely I've do. let you all done so much whatever you want emotionally to me. But it's goddamn another story when you try to hurt my friends and get them involved like you've been doing. <laughs> I was not expecting that. All right. Okay, so... Chris knocked us out, in a, and um, we were in. We went into a coma for four days, and now this is four days later. This is a bad demon. I think I know. I know this video. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the video. This is a this is a challenge to Tito. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a very confusing video if you if you don't know exactly what's happening. So I'll try to elaborate, even though I'm not quite sure what's happening, but. But the gist is is that uh, Surfshack Tito is is a neutral who appeared. I actually don't know who who was playing Surfshack Tito. I don't think it was ever determined, but it it might have been someone from the old old crew. It could have been it could have been Alec Benson Leary, or it could have been Mal, or Evan Christopher George. It could have been one one of those guys, maybe. But I I cannot confirm. So so Tito was a guy from. Um, from Teen Surf Racers or whatever the uh, car cartoon was, and then he was challenging uh, Chris for the ownership of their uh, lady friend. Let's call her the Wallflower, because um, she uh, she had her personal details revealed back then, and she requested the quickie to to. Uh, to remove all all of her personal information and just call her the wallflower based on a certain quote from Chris referring to her she, saying like she was she, she she was like a wallflower Tito does not have a voice though Tito Tito never spoke it just it was just emails rocket power apparently yes and um so let, let's just call her the wallflower and try to ignore it whenever Chris says her actual name <laughs> all right so, 
in in order to prove how much Chris cares about the wallflower, he is um he is absorbing her her fondness of Celtic music and Irish culture. And that's why and that's why he is wearing a kilt. And that's why you can hear Arlen's call playing in the background during this video. Let's watch. Tio! Listen to me, you son of a bitch. Your, your days are numbered. I have forwarded your admission to Heather and also the, also the gal pal that we know between us, our Scarlet. And with great honor and glory, I will take pleasure in beating up your ass. And also, regain the, regain the love and trust and friendship of Heather. Either way, you are going down, Tito. One way, two ways. Oh. Tito, one way. Uh, no, the wrong one. It's uh, playback speed. That's right. Let's continue. <laughs> Together, standing. Or three. Tall. What? What was? Th I know it's supposed to be a um a switchblade, but goddamn, I didn't see it at all. Just <laughs> the pixels are so few and far between that I can't even see the actual blade. <laughs> or three. Is that? A is that, a, is that a toenail cutter? What the hell is that supposed to be? Ah, Kiwi laddie. You're not gonna get the last thing today. You know, like Arlen. I kick your ass with me shillelagh and my ring man. <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a sprinkling of Jamaican, as Chris has wants to do. To do. Um, Jesus Christ. What is a shillelagh? I'm not quite... Um, Apparently, I'm not very well versed in Irish culture, so what is a shillelagh? <laughs> okay, so uh, next video, give me China Plus, and there's a... Wait, okay. So is this... So th there's a there's a video on the TV in the background. This is kind of like a TVception right here, because this is the actual same TV that you see this whole... Um, video in this is the same sony tv and and you see the sony tv inside the sony tv that's pretty it's pretty cool anyway so this is chris playing back i believe the uh boyfriend music video that it's an it's an irish club a wacky stick a whacking stick Ireland's secret weapon <laughs> what a name a, a cudgel is it a cudgel Chris wants China. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, so, so I, I believe Chris is gonna be singing back the boyfriend video over. The, uh, <sighs> let's just, this let's message just goes move. out to Damien Anteria, her pen name. Pen Not name. Not revealing her real name. All things considered. All things considered, he just said her real name like, I think a day ago. You know something? You don't you don't need that new boyfriend because I need you. We were so Chris was c communicating with the wallflower via email during this time and um I believe she got wind of what Chris is because someone leaked the the quickie to her. She got offended. She wanted Chris to get away, so she made up some lies to get him to get away. It's like saying, I have a boyfriend. And uh, Chris, of course, believed us. There's no reason not to. And this is a video in response to that news. This has a, I, th I think this is the video that has an amazing quote, which we will, um, which we will observe. Very good pen, but we had so much in common. I don't see why you had to go and do that. I mean, you weren't even ready for a boyfriend. You told me so yourself multiple times. Expected that for a little while. Expected that for a little while. <laughs> I mean, he was warming her up. <sighs> but you know what? This puts to my mind something that I have put together before. 
Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your boyfriend. No way, no way, I think you need a new one. Hey, hey, you, yeah, I could be your boyfriend. Dun -da -dun 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 in a second you'll be wrapped around my finger. Cause I can, cause I can do it better. There's no other, so when's it gonna sink in? He's so troll and stupid, what the hell were you thinking? That's dumb, but trying to take you out my life. But you know, I can do it better. He's an imposter, he's a poser. What the hell were you thinking with that damn pickle suit? Great line. So this is once again Chris reusing um, girlfriend getting tactics for another prospective girlfriend. Uh, he did, he did the same thing with Casey. Like he he showed off to her the uh, Valentine's the uh, Valentine's Day little big planet level that he originally made for Julie. So you know, Chris doesn't fuck around. You know, why waste? Why? Why buy the same diamonds twice, you know? Come on. Damien? Damien and Daria? Give me a break! You know what? I don't want to be back in this situation where I'm that desperate that I gotta go as far as to pay $100 for a damn hooker. Damn. Give me a break! I'm a 28-year-old high-functioning autistic virgin! I'm in a hell of my own! Of course, we can't we can't completely blame Chris's pers personality for this. There's, there's also autism involved and uh, poor social social training, and uh, yeah, yeah. The point is, sleep with me, or else I'm gonna get a hooker. Which um, amazing, amazing. His whole life is just a big long foreshadow, ain't it? Which is a which is a shame because like like as I as uh, as I mentioned before, um, the wildflower did. Did have a thing for uh, incest, you know, in incest fan fiction, so. Again, the world's longest foreshadow. <sighs> Come on, please. Please. I've been so very worried about you. I've had heartaches since last Wednesday. I've had sleepless nights. Damn. It really hurts. Heartaches hurt. Heartaches hurt, man. Okay, I thought about it. Um, is this more Irish stuff? Hey, yo, everyone. It's uh, Sonichi Day, and I'm wishing y'all... Oh, Sonichi Day. Oh, I think uh, Chris completely, completely forgot about this. Uh, <laughs> also, I love how during this this moment uh, in, his, in his life, Chris verified his truthfulness and his honesty and his legitimacy by showing off the high school ring at the start of every video. Let's watch. There it is. Hey ho everyone, it's uh Sanchi it's Day and I'm wishing y'all a happy one. Enough. You know, tenth year tenth tenth anniversary of Sanchi since its creation. Ten years ago today. I would have made a big update like I said, but I've been preoccupied with the em emotional traumas I've been dealing with. Yeah past week. Yeah. I'd like to keep that separate from this video. March this 17th. Moment. We just missed it. This because I don't want to spoil it. But I'm still working on the, on the pages. And, uh, you know, as soon as possible, I, I'll have them uploaded and uh, I'll make an update and look like a PDF. Chris still working on the comics is just me still still working on Terra Nova. So no. I mean, yeah, give me respect. I am a, I am an artist and an inspiration does not stay constant like that. And of course I have been having to deal with those emotional issues and such. Mm. But everybody, uh, yeah. Happy Sancho Day, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's all it's got all good there, so thank you for your support, and I and you can look forward to more comics. Two more covers on your other channel. Right. I'm gonna edit that video today. Back. Actually, I'm gonna edit. This does not sound. I hope to fucking god that everyone's over the, over the age of eighteen.
because then YouTube is not allowed to, to show this to you, okay? Fair warning. If you're under 18, you get the fuck out of here, all right? All right, let's, let's, keep, let's, let's keep going. Tito, you stay away from Heather, you son of a bitch. You have no right taking her from me like that, you womanizing rapist. And if you go near her again, and I will find you. I will find you. I will cut you up. I will beat you up. I will knock you on your backside, stand on your gut like a log roller, and roll your fat right through your skull. Rolling it wide open. Because that's what you deserve, you goddamn womanizing, raping, trolling, stupid, pickle-suited nigger. And don't you ever, don't you dare contact me in my email again. Man, the, you know, I'm the, I'm the kind of person who does not think, who, who does not, um, who does not believe that, that words carry meaning. It's, uh, it's, it's the person behind the words that carries the meaning that, uh, that, uh, gives, gives meaning to the word. And God damn, there was so much fucking hate in that R. Holy crap. That's a that's a that's a very hateful response, huh? Or con <laughs> I can't get over that. Holy shit! <laughs> you know, this is this is this uh, video is is pretty much the uh, video version of what Chris sent via email to uh, Tito as well. It's almost the same. Hard R, yeah. Uh, actually, before part twenty six was uploaded originally, I did not understand what a hard R was. I was I was in the same camp as Lennis Tech Tips, who thought that R meant like the the word that started with R, that was like a you know it's a it's a bad word for someone of of low intellect you know that R I thought that I thought that meant hard R I had no idea it was this Jesus catch me ever <laughs> or like hard R was like the R rating of, for like movies or songs I, I don't know and then everyone was uh posting well i was not expecting that hard art like what the hell does our hard art mean where's the heart oh th oh ah that okay you stay away from me you stay away from me in contact don't call me i will find you rhymes with leotard oh sure um okay this there were, there was a lot of Oh, so many good videos are coming up. Holy fucking shit. There's a lot of shorties, as as you could tell, like one minute and two minute videos. This one's six minutes, then another couple of one minutes, and then a... Whew, we're into a brand new saga. March so we'll 21st, see. We'll see. 2010. March 21st. This is um almost exactly to the day. I have noticed that my absence has uh, brought on a bit of chaos Sunday. Wikipedia, and it has gone on beyond behind my back. I have been depressed lately because of my because of my girlfriend having left me. Because of the tort, because of what this one guy did. Mm. He created that page. I know that. He tried to intrude my life. Once I find, once I find him. Are we still talking about Tito? I was not paying attention. He will be he will be torn. He will be beheaded? Okay. I was I was just gonna mention because um the original PVCC trolling group that were controlling the uh Surfshack Tito saga and the messages that went out to uh Chris, um they were perusing the Wildflowers Facebook page and they found a photo of the Wildflower with a certain Polynesian looking gentleman and they they were like holy fucking shit this is Tito let's just say this is Tito and um and uh and so they sent an email saying hey I got your missus here I I love her you know so so yeah that uh, really convinced Chris that this was ho that this was real even though you know the uh, trolls were not expecting this to happen you know just like um you know it's an, it's an amazing coincidence and uh after a while uh, the wallflower was fed up with him and she said that and uh after after chris kept uh emailing her saying are you with tito and and she said yes i am with tito so of course again they, they did not expect her to go along with it she was just so annoyed that she wanted him to shut up and she called him an acoustic virgin and um 
and uh, she ended their our friendship. It was never romantic at all. It was just in Chris's head that it 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 had the prospect of of a uh, of a uh, getting to the romantic part. Too bad. But aside from that, I have let my I have let the trolls torture me because of my because of my real life stories having been leaked on the internet. But now the chaos is going to be done. I have shared my stories and arts of my electric hedgehog Pokemon. I have established my own, own my own, my main, own, my power of ownership as the original creator and author. What the hell was that? <laughs> creator. I have established <laughs> so much guitar. and learned a lot in socializing and dealing with the good and the bad but I am not the quit I am not quitting this not and the quitting. comic series will continue but you'll have to wait until the comic book pages hit the stores before in order for you to read more I have already won Damn. because I have learned so much I am famous worldwide and I own the main copyrights to everything about it. About Sonic Shoe, Rose Shoe, and the city of Quickville and everything therein. Really? And I am going to take it a step further after this. At first, I am making my I am removing my I am removing myself from the internet. Damn because really? I let, because I've put too much of my personal life online to be ridiculed so much. Let's see how you trolls plan to deal with me when I am not there to be dealt with. Honestly, if Chris left the Even internet, though I ignore the your phone calls, that's one thing. And I, and I, you all do your treachery behind my back, your treachery and your mockery. But that chaos ends now. Because I am going to enjoy real life. I do not need the internet. Nobody needs the internet. That's very they true. They just need to enjoy real life. Go out and socialize. Talk to people. Emails are so yes. <laughs> 500 IQ 5D chess by Chris. I have already won. <laughs> Today. Going out and finding people to talk to. And I can't believe how Chris actually came up with that, with that line. I have already won. Talking to them face to face is always in. So you can forget the damn with Facebook the and the MySpace power. and those other social sites because the only true social site is all around you. Mm. At your shopping mall, at the salons, at schools, at colleges, mm. everywhere, even at churches, yep. at bookstores, That's the real at game stores, social game site. stops, everywhere all around you. It's a physical site. It is a social site. Mm. And you don't need a computer to access it. All you have to do is just go outside and, and see for yourself. And say, hello. The internet is one thing to go talk into another country, but you don't need to be talking to others in the country. Would you go talk to everybody else? around you locally hmm. because those are the most important people to you the ones that are closest to you so I leave you all with that with those words and Middle it is not goodbye sure but more like see you later see you later for me for me and my Sonic Chi Rose Chi and everybody did you know Samuel Discord because is a social site back. that's right and we don't, but we don't need the online websites to be famous anymore, because we have established world fandom. We have established my ownership of everything therein. We have established the power, the mental education of having to deal with the good and the bad and the worst. Damn trolls! Your bullying is not appreciated, even locally. So how you long can just take this your boys and we'll bully see. yourselves. 
Go ahead and see. If you want to, this if you want, if you're bored, the internet last. go work around the house. Go take a walk. Chris because is you the, don't need the internet. Chris is the or, 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 originator. You don't need to stay cooped grass. up inside. You just need to go outside Damn. and enjoy life and the sun and the days you have to live. I highly recommend Chris that. Chris Wesson Chandler of Ruckersville, Virginia. First name Christopher, smash nickname Ricardo. Original creator of the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon, Sancho and Rose Chew, and the city of Quickville, Virginia. I bid y'all stay safe and good day. Oh, by the way. <laughs> okay, it is just a blog video with a few thoughts of the day. By the way, that uh, hiatus lasted. I don't have the hours at hand, but it, it seems like it's a bit darker now, so I guess it lasted, you know, up to six hours. Um, this the, uh, what is this? Um, March. 22nd. March 22nd. Day of March. Anyway, it's just been a bad day for me, you know, I'm still suffering with lingering heartaches and what happened recently. Mm. And, uh, also, you know, another thought, you know, I just feel like, I just feel like, I just feel like sharing. Yeah, on the Cleveland show, you know. Hmm. I like to be along a lot better as the voice of Roberta Tubbs. I don't give I don't give a damn about this Reagan what Reagan Gomez, what's her name? Her voice is just too high pitched and just does not fit the character as best as Nia Long did. Seth would be Seth and uh Mike Henry would uh Seth McFarland and Mike Henry would do themselves a big favor by putting Neil Long back as the voice of Roberta. So Chris does not like the new voice actor for anyway, the Cleveland show, and that's today, what brought so him back to the internet. <laughs> anyway, six days later, six days later, um, if, if you like the series, there's a user on the YouTube website making a talking series about quick. Their name is Gino Samuel 2.1. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought it was someone else. Anyway, so... Let's see what this is about. Just a thought that I'd like to share with everybody. Abstinence, if you're just learning about it. Oh. Oh, the uh, abstinence. The abstinence uh, rebuttal. Sure. Abstinence is nothing but crap. It is a whole fucking bunch of baloney. Whoa. If I, if I had the opportunity, I would, if I was in an assembly, I would stand right up in my chair and I would say, Everyone say, fuck up, fuck abstinence. Shout it right to the choir. Shout it right to the choir. This is not what that means, Chris. Chris does not ha have a handle of um, idioms like that. Shout to the choir means they already agree with you. Is the is the is the whole point? Um. Yeah, lots of f bombs in this video. Chris is very much angry. I mean, because if you got abstinence, then what then what you get end up being an adult virgin, or even worse, a senior citizen virgin. And that is like a hell to most anybody. A senior citizen version, which is not very likely, I'd imagine, for most people. But still, um, yeah, senior citizen is is what Chris likes to say a lot. I guess it's more formal than saying like old person or, or the elderly. Chris likes saying senior a lot, like in the uh, in the meaning of, a, of an older person. And you can... You can tell this from from a certain comic book character called uh, Married Married no, no Married Sainor comic, and um, most people believe that um, uh, Sainor is supposed to mean senior, but uh, Chris swapped the. Uh, no, Chris didn't even. If, if, Chris didn't even follow that uh, stupid rule of I before E except after except after C, which like of course there's lots of exceptions to to that rule as well, like conceive, I believe it's C E I, which is not I before E except after C, and um, Chris did the uh, I after E after S, so it's Sainor, and uh, when when Chris was typing Sainor prom or whatever you know in his Facebook post, he he always got that wrong. So married, I don't know what married is. It's not married. It's it's married like a like a Merry Christmas married. <laughs> so like is he is is he like a happy 
a happy guy, a happy older gentleman. A married saint or a comic, like a comedian comic. Is that what is that what he means? What is it? What is it? What is a married saint or a comic? But anyway, I think it's a it's a happy elderly gentleman who is very funny as well. I, I believe that's the uh, that's the meaning behind that. Anyway, uh, fuck up, fuck abstinence. And you could tell him that I, Christian Weston Chandler, provoked you to say, FUCK ABSTINENCE! Unless you're a priest, obviously. Updates are to come on the Wikipedia soon. Nice. And do not buy any of the quote-unquote books anywhere on the internet, because I have not approved of any such books. And I'm not getting a dot, and I'm not seeing a penny out of that. So if there's anything that I'm not seeing a penny out of, Books or DVDs. There's too many eyes there. Yeah, do not buy. Otherwise, would like you know dolls, toys, backpacks, what that sort of that sort of small thing. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. I'll prove that. Anyway, everybody else, have a good day. So this is actually in the midst of a brand new girlfriend saga, and of course this is. It's not Julie. It's um. What the hell's her name? Jackie, that's it. Fucking Jackie. And um, in case you don't know, Jackie is played by the same person who played Alec Benson Leary. Um, so since this was only just via email, via email interactions, it's quite easy to uh, to uh, pass off, you know, as a as a different person. So so the point behind Jackie is, uh, you you can definitely tell that it's the same person as Alec is because they are trying to improve Chris to an extent, like they're trying to give him a a tough love approach, I believe. But then uh, Alec just went off the deep end and made Chris do dumb shit very quickly after this. So this is um this is very early on in the in the Jackie saga, I believe. I'm not sure who. Uh, who prompted this to happen first, whether it was Chris or Jackie, I'm not sure, but the conversation goes is that Chris wants to go back to the game place and apologize to Michael Snyder um, and to get back into the game place because he wants to go there. But I believe it was Jackie to tell him to secretly record it so then he could post it online and say just how, um, just like a, just like to ha to have evidence, you know, of of how potentially ruthless and mean Michael Snyder is, even though of course Jackie knows that this is just uh, to make Chris look like an idiot. And of course, Chris did upload this. He uploaded this audio of the of the uh, legendary meeting with uh, with Michael Snyder at the game place um, with the overlay of. Michael Snyder is a cruel and heartless human being, and then it lists his like. Um, a business telephone number and, and other contact details and uh, encouraging people to uh, contact him and troll him to death, basically. And, uh, of course, it didn't work out that way. This is Christian Weston Chandler, Captain's Law, Stardate, 4.34 p.m., Monday, April 12, 2010. It's amazing that we actually know the, the uh, time place of when this happened on April 12, 2010. <laughs> I am about to go in the game, comic, and hobby place, also sell toys there, to get myself, to try to get myself unbanned and get forgiveness for the... Have you seen the video about Liquid Chris, or should I say the twins who played the part? I believe it came out a few weeks ago. Uh, whoever said that they were twins is a fucking liar. It was just a one guy. A, they, they are twins in real life, but the Liquid Chris on camera, apart from maybe one video where he plays guitar, is a bit suspicious. But apart from that, the entire thing is just one guy. One guy. Only one of the brothers whose name is Chris. However... John, his brother, uh, provided the uh, the refined singing vocals for Chris's cover of Sonita Cute Girl, which is and and he's off camera by the way, you know, so there's just one guy. The mistake I had made Basically. almost a year ago when I was banned from the store in June of 2008. The dude who banned me was his name is Michael Snyder. 
Possibly a Jew, considering the last name. Possibly a Jew, considering the last name. I'm not quite sure about the uh, Jewish, uh, the, uh, Jewish etymology behind Snyder. Is that typically Jewish, or is, or is that... um? It kind of sounds German to me. Like, you don't... I don't... Nothing bad against the Jews, but I'm just throwing it out there. All right, so here I go. Okay, so Chris just held his camcorder in his pocket, I guess, and that's recording the audio there. We can we can have a pretty good uh, idea of what Chris's pockets look like, so add that to the movie. Hello, I'm here to see Michael. Schneider. I guess Schneider's... Well, I mean, you're, you, you'll just see that by running it. See, I mean, it was running okay the other day, but just, you know, you may need to adjust it one way or the other, depending on temperature and everything else. But, you know, it just, it's not usually much. By changing fuel, it doesn't usually change tuning that much. Okay? That's my correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it'll be fine. He's on the phone. Right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good I forced my friends to make to celebrate Christian Day. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mr. Oh yeah, by the by, by, by. Wow! I'm not very good with my stutter today. Yes, we cannot confirm whether or not Michael Snyder is Jewish. It's irrelevant, honestly. <clears throat> this would be a lot of Jews in Germany. I wonder what happened, huh? Every morning is apparently the name of the song in the background. How the hell can you hear that? Okay. Alright. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Bye. Nice. Hello, Michael. I see uh, you've been. Lo you see you're looking well. <laughs> you see you're looking well. Chris is getting nervous. I think. Uh, I think Michael Snyder actually said later on. Um, I, b I believe there was a YouTube channel, um, which uh, which claimed to be Michael Snyder. I cannot guarantee whether or not it was him, but apparently he had some insider info. So maybe it's possible that it was him using the YouTube channel to to write about stuff. But anyway, it was very very believable, despite you know someone of his age using YouTube at that time. Uh, it's kind of unlikely, but according to the YouTuber comments. I believe Chris had a written note of his script that he was reading out to Michael right there. It hasn't changed much since for the past almost two years. And yeah, it has been uh, almost two years since uh, what happened uh, June, June 2008. But uh, I came back hoping that uh, we could put that behind us. And uh, come on. I mean, it has been almost two years, and it's just been on my mind for so long. It's just be a. Uh, can we just forgive and forget? No. Come on, no. have this weight on my back. No. And I have really missed no. coming here. No. I'm, you need to leave. I'm a better person. You need to leave. Uh, come on, firm, come on, strong. dude. No. You need to leave now. How can you be so heartless? I mean, you're, I mean, you're obviously not as mean as one of those trolls I've been dealing you with. You need to leave now. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, obviously you had something against me, oh, aside from the Wii incident. I just would like to know what. Come on. Wow. Give me a break. All right, fine, I'll leave. But I hope that God will forgive you for being so heartless and cruel, Michael Snyder. 
<laughs> that door just barely missed the bleep, the bleeping out the the uh, Jew remark. God damn. Yeah, Chris, Chris, Chris whipping out the old the old Jew word on his way out. <laughs> yeah, that's our Chris. <sighs> Anyway, let's let's have a drink and prepare for the next video, which is um, which is uh, the the source of the of the thumbnail of this stream. Dated April nineteenth, twenty ten, for JR's eyes only. Dot So this is um this is a another stellar top secret super secret. A uh, video that Chris made for his love at the time, was, who was Julie, and uh, yeah, it just a, uh, it just a, there was some some sort of back and forth in the emails about how Julie, how uh, fuck, how Jackie, I keep saying Julie, Jackie, uh, how Jackie did not believe how Chris could satisfy her well, so Chris made a video to prove how well he could satisfy, even, even though he was very resistant to making a video like this because he knew that there was a very strong chance that it would leak out mysteriously. And, um, but for the pussy, Chris did it. And um, the video leaked out mysteriously. So let's, let's watch. Hey Jackie, Jackie. me Christian. Ja Julie, Jackie. I'm doing this video for you. Got to upload to the media fire. Hopefully, uh, trolls will not get that to there. You realize if Jackie ever married Christian, her name would be Jackie Chan. I mean, yeah, I have not tried media fire for it before, but yeah, I do have a friend that recommends it as well. So for you, I'll try it. By the way, Mountain Dew me. Solid t-shirt. Well, uh, first half of the uh, video, though, uh, yeah, let me apologize for, uh, yeah, that thing, I, for even leading you to the quick key. I just wanted to let you know about uh, what happened to me before. I just felt concerned about that. But, and then with that, uh, reading what you read on Ivy's page, yeah, I was wrong. I forgot one detail of that, that detail. Yeah, it was uh, supposedly I was talking to uh, this Vanessa Hudgens. It was like coming on to me really, really well online. And I <laughs> had, I held in with my self-restraint as best as I could for hey, a what? long time. I missed it. Is it, is it masturbating? And then she just kind of talked me into it a little bit. Ignore that. Still has the same ringtone. Eh, yeah, that's my cell phone. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Just take care of that real quick. Is that Motorola? Anyway, uh... Yeah. I did make a video apologizing to Ivy for that. At least, you know, I can man up and admit when I made such a mistake as that. So they're addressing his uh, previous cheating... Um... Cheating complaints. Yeah, so, uh... Jackie perused the quickie and found... Uh, Chris's videos that he made for 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 the attention of Vanessa Hudgens while he was dating Ivy, and uh, she was offended by it. So Chris apologized for the uh, for the whole cheating, <laughs> you know, cheating, you know. And that was in the past, and I'm sorry. I did not mean to. I did not mean to lie to you. I swear. I just, I just forgot that one detail. Anyway, as for that, uh, the quote unquote Vanessa Hudgens actually, uh, this was actually in reality this uh, Spanish dude I know, Joshua Martinez. Chris knows. It was yeah, no. just he was he was just basically it was he was pretending to be Vanessa that whole time, and Joshua Martinez was like the first ever real troll, wasn't he? Like, he was not attached to any trolling sagas. He wasn't part of the PVCC. He just did his own thing. He uh, he knew Chris from way back way. Uh, they went to uh, speech therapy classes together as when they were kids. And it was like, you know what? I'm going to fuck this guy up. What an asshole. <sighs> it ticks me off, that guy. Yeah. Uh, 
nurse, nurse, that's a nurse story for another it's day, a re- though. It's a recursion, actually, yeah. Mm. Anyway, with that put aside, uh, I, I'm going to show I'm going to show you some ways on how I can pleasure you Great. orally. Okay. Orally. I yeah I got a few ideas like you know I would definitely give you some finger play. <laughs> Lots of fingers. But yeah. Lots of fingers. I'll just yeah I could be like. <laughs> Chris opening the curtains. <laughs> ah, you lick your pretty little click there. Tickle your pussy. This is the thing that is not age restricted. Fuck. Oh, and here's the fun part. I put my. I can roll my tongue. I... That's not. That's not what rolling your tongue means. But I push. I put it in there. And extend it while it's in there. Chris, Chris is proud of that. <sighs> okay. Okay, calm down. Let's calm down. Let's take a drink. We only got two more minutes to go. But boy, howdy. Jackie and the rest of the trolls watching this did not expect the surprise reveal at the very end of this video. Holy crap, no one was expecting it. No one was asking for it. No one knew it existed and suddenly, boop. Can you imagine that? I, I can imagine very well. Open open the curtains and stick your tongue in. Yeah, roll roll your tongue in. Wow. Oh, nice. I got other clean ideas now. as well, but I just can't think of them right now. But hopefully that's not good enough for starters and to make up for that. And, uh, I like the I mode. have been under confusion Pat, for a little while, but yeah. seriously, Ivy, I really do want you. Ivy? I want you. God and damn. I do love you, and I care about you. Clearly you don't, man. And I pray that this video does not fall into the hands of the trolls. <laughs> you let me know once you got it downloaded successfully and that you're able to play it, and I'll take it off of the media fire. I gotta watch myself. And also, uh... I missed it. Did, did, did uh, Chris have an accident? Oh my gosh. I gotta watch myself with the media fire. Oh my gosh. I gotta watch myself. Was this in reference to the, to the video leaking to trolls? Or is this the, uh... Or is this uh, Chris trying to restrain himself from, um, you know, evacuating? And also, uh, another thing to make up for this, uh... Make up for this. Mm, I'll view, uh, another thing about myself. I actually do, I actually, uh, do have a bit of a belly, but, uh, also with that, uh, man boobs. I'm not, I'm not, I'm telling you this in strictest confidence that you will not laugh at me. But while I walk, they do bounce. Yeah. So I have to. That uh, happens to. Uh, oh, oh. So I wear a sports bra. Works very good. Keeps them from bouncing. You know what? This did make up for it, Chris. Holy shit. I got. I'm a 42 bust. All right. Well, I hope we can. Hopefully, we can move on, and uh, resume our relationship. With emotions, or otherwise be started. With emotions started. and emotions, yeah. I love you, Jackie. I love you. Hmm. All right, great. That was a, that was a great video. Did you like it? Holy shit! So yeah, this is a uh, Chris feels very good about wearing a sports bra. This is probably um, what eventually led to you know her transition. I guess. Um, is. Originally, for very different reasons, you know, because uh, Chris had moobs, as they're as they're uh, affectionately called, they're they're uh, moobs, so uh, and they kept moving as uh, as Chris walked along the street. Uh, so Chris wore a sports bra to stop them from jiggling about so much. Uh, so that's gonna move on. So next video is something that I did not address 
in the docs. This is from April 23rd, 2010. This is a message to Chris Chen from an old friend. And it's a, and it's a video from a guy dressed as the man in the pickle suit. And I believe this is not anyone directly related to the, P to the PVCC, I believe. It's not mentioned at all, I believe, in the quickie, which is why I missed it completely the first time going. Um, so it's just, you know, a guy on YouTube pretending to be the man in the pickle suit, so. Talk to you later. Meet up soon. It's been a long time, Chris. This is when YouTube was fun, you know? Agent Smith impression there. And your emails. No more sweetheart searches. No more nothing. I'm here to put a stop to it. You see, your virginity is my business and mine to control. Not yours. Allow me to. Can you elaborate further? Clue you in on a plan I've had for a while now. You see, I went out at night into the streets of Virginia. There, I found every prostitute and hooker I could find. And do you know what I did? I found each and every one of them. And I told them. I have your mugshot. If you see this man, give him nothing. He deserves nothing. You see, I spread these out. They know you before you even approach. Your virginity is my business. <laughs> so you see, Chris, I have all the cards. And you're just going to have to play with whatever hand I deal to you. All right. Good day. Okay, so, wow, this is a boring video. Let's uh, let's just talk over it, huh? Okay. Anyway, let's go. Wouldn't it be funny if you if? Hey, okay. I'm here today on this uh, pleasant. It's also on that same day. I, I believe. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too <laughs> too long. To, too long didn't read. Yeah, me too. Um, so basically, this is posted on that same day, and I believe um, Chris never re referenced that video ever. So Chris doesn't know that exists, basically, <clears throat> or or at least thinks is a troll and not not worth his time. So anyway, uh, just like ten, like a week after the JR's Eyes Only video came out, Chris is openly wearing. Uh, "Quote unquote muscle bra" on video for the for uh, public YouTube, and basically this video consists of like uh, reading out the autism Wikipedia entry, and that's day in April 2010. That's basically it to uh, discuss autism as it is Autism Awareness Month. Autism Awareness Month is what April. is autism? Autism is a disorder of neutral of neural development characterized okay, by impaired just social interaction. Make it more quiet and just talk to the and by restricted talk to the good people in chat, huh? These signs all begin before a child is Hopefully he was louder than me because autism maybe Chris would have gotten gotten bet. Mid morphing stage. Yeah, yeah, Chris. Uh, it's mid. It's um the, uh, the early the early transition, from, uh, you might say. It's a transitional form. Or, yeah. And the Wikipedia page for the autism. Kafka period. <laughs> Today is estimated that one in every 110 children is diagnosed with autism. Little C's dream studio. That's so sad. 
Man, this video will get age restricted if he ever undressed that. I believe it's coming, a bit, a bit later, of course. How's life in China treating you? It's treating me pretty well. Can't complain too much. God damn. <sighs> Go back to JR's eyes only. <laughs> Should be a life restricted. How's Terranova doing? It's doing well. He's doing well. It's going to school and it's, uh, it's eating its broccoli. From the start, typically developing infants are chilling pain. autism. Early in life, they gaze at people. This is before or after the beard. This is this is after the beard. I mean, this is after the uh, goatee. But contrast, apparently, if you're if you're to believe a uh, Prater, Chris has a beard currently in, in jail. Of everyday human interactions. Do you know true plushy when? Um, I'm more interested in releasing uh, physical merch of my of my music. By the way. I think that's more interesting for me, at least. And I can even sign them and make a, a, a limited signed release of, of some select albums, either on vinyl or on CD, or on cassette tape even. Um, though I don't have a... Actually, I don't have any kind of player with me, apart from a CD player, so I can't really confirm the sound quality of them if I, if I, if I do receive them. Though I would like some, <clears throat> like to get some uh, physical merch going, and especially since I'm in China, they're fucking cheap to make here. When's your new album? It's pretty. When new album? When new album? Your music? It's pretty good. Uh, new album is. I'm actually gonna start working on it very heavily um, within the next month. Hopefully, it'll be finished within a month now, because I got lots of stuff done already. Got lots of free time this past uh, month or so, so I I, I worked ahead a lot, considering. Uh, um, uh, Christian stuff especially so I can do other stuff now and especially especially Terra Nova and music are there any vinyl factories in China there must be oh, oh there are lots CD and vinyl factories that you can you know uh, custom order them and you know uh, buy in bulk of course if you if you the more you buy it the uh, cheaper it is like for example if you buy a thousand CDs for like you know order order the same CD like like for example Mor Morgana on CD in like a jewel case it's like costs like 10 cents per CD which is fucking insane so then you know can we get your albums on 8-track no. No. it's a joke he's not in China it's not a joke I'm in China I'm literally I, I could show you the window I'm, I'm in China god damn it <laughs> I can open the window for it and show you the uh, the uh, Chinese fields why am I in China? Uh, I live with my uh, with my Goops with my Goops family for the moment. My 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 wife to be. Pleasure in Japan. You live long. I I recently moved from Japan. We we recently moved from Japan. Um, like almost two months ago. So it's quite early on. Uh, can you record Jody but change it to Julie? No, I'll not do that. Uh, are you planning on to increase the glitch effects to intro until we reach the end? Yeah, kind of. I do have plans for that. Um, I think I missed something. Uh, horse plushies? No. Mini disc? No. Um, I think I'm... Uh, if I order from Alibaba, it's like two-day shipping. Um... I don't think we use. Do we use Alibaba? Do do we use Al Alibaba here? Yeah, we do. Okay, so 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 that's different. Okay, so uh, apparently we use Taobao here. It's not Alibaba. But it's the it's the Chinese version of AliExpress apparently. So yeah, it's it's pretty quick quick shipping here. Yeah, definitely. So yes, we can get all our Chinese products from China to China in like a day or two, as opposed to 30 days if you use AliExpress. So that's that's just great. That's meaning it really is great. I missed something. Well, I can be I missed something important. I think. Let's see. Another common difficulty is the inability to understand body language, tone of voice, or phrases of speech. For example, someone with autism might interpret a sarcastic, sarcastic expression such as. Oh, that's just great. That was not bad, honestly. That was pretty sarcastic. That's meaning it really is great. Well, it can be challenging for others to understand what children... Great, let's, let's move, move on. <clears throat> We're waiting for you in Ireland. Oh, thank you, Stephen. <laughs> I'd love to come back.
Why China doesn't use AliExpress? No, because AliExpress is the uh, international version of, of whatever they have in China, you know. But it's, it's the same thing. It's just, you know, the international version. It's, it's like TikTok and uh, Douyin. Are there cool bugs in China like there are in Japan? There are bugs in China, yeah. Like, for example, yesterday we had a, we had a pretty cool and colorful moth fly into the house. That was pretty cool. I had some wasps wasp problems before i think they're mostly clear cleared up right now so yeah we have bugs and it's not even bug season yet we're gonna we're gonna buy a buy a mosquito net for our for our bed come summer so yeah looking forward to that fuck <laughs> it's still going all right i'm working on the new, new album yeah that's right it's actually the new album is about 80% complete, so it's not that far off from release. What's my favorite dish in China? I mean, I like the leaves. They're pretty good. Cabbage is better than Octagon. You fucking take that back. I don't blame you, but Octagon is a damn good album. Had that taste. Fuck off. Is TikTok in China really all stem stuff? We, we stem st I, I, don't, I don't watch Douyin in China. I really don't know what that's about. Though I did... I did glance at like my uh, brother-in-law and my uh, my other relatives, and it's like um, same sort of high level, same sort of high high level stuff that you get on TikTok, you know, like dancing teens or or you know like um, or latest local news or you know oh someone fell in the well and let's rescue them, you know stuff like that, you know. <laughs> What's my new album's vibe? Um, if you if you ever heard Tokyo Computer Music by Gino Samuel, it's kind of like that except with lyrics and lots of auto tune. It, this is my attempt at being um, more modern. It's not that modern, but like uh, I was inspired by what's his face, you know, the we don't talk anymore guy, you know that that guy. He does pretty good songs. Okay, it's finished. But as for me though, I highly recommend mainstreaming. Let them go through normal life. Really, Chris? I mean, yeah. Give them a special treatment while they're young, but when you get them in elementary, when you get them in elementary or middle school oh, or two, high two, school, two, two. mainstream is the way to go. Make sure you find yourself a good social teacher. Teach them how to cope. And as you may have noticed, I am standing here today, topless, as you might say. It's not quite topless. I do this in defense and in protest because every time, because every time I see. A male individual who goes around, runs around, or exercises shirtless, it is very offensive to me. And I do not appreciate that. And I'm sure that it is, a lot of, it is offensive to a lot of other people as well. As a matter of fact, if I could, I would, I would say that I would make a law that would require all male individuals to wear like a sports bra okay. while I'm they are out right. exercising or working if they insist on being shirtless. Come on, dudes, give it the program. Nobody wants to see these nips and things of our left of history. Yes. Yes, Chris. Uh, don't see male nips. However, hashtag free the nipple as well, you know, at the same time. Chris is a bit, Chris is a bit confused at that. I'll leave you all with that. And you I think maybe, maybe it's Chris being offended at the fact that his nipples are not as aesthetically pleasing as other men's nipples are. You know, especially the uh, the uh, muscular guys who don't mind walking around shirtless on hot days, you know, with the uh, pecs, you know, their glistening pecs undulating in the sunshine. Have yourselves a pleasant, safe day. We've got two more videos. Hey, yo, Dro, you got... Oh, this one. So, Chris, this is May 5th, 2010. Chris got wind of a, of a trollsome plan to hack his PS3. And so, so to uh, thwart it, Chris uh, got some dodgy intel made by trolls as well. So you know, there's so many layers here, like like, like um, fake, real, fake, real fake, and uh, and so he disconnected the like Wi-Fi adapter from his PlayStation console. So to uh, beat the trolls. Got nothing going on for you, cause you know what? I removed it. The Wi-Fi antenna. It gone. You ain't getting my PS3 anymore. You bunch of dumbasses. 
And yeah, I do spend a bit of Dell on my grill. But you what media is Chris consuming to make him talk like that? <laughs> you can get my, my, my info no more. What is he watching? You know what? I'm not going to do it from y'all. Because I like to pimp my ride. Is he watching pimp my ride? Is that is that why? Is that why he's talking I'm out. like that? Peace. I'm out. Peace. Jesus. All right. Okay, we're we're on to the last video of today. This is um, the affectionately titled "Dem Autistic Blues." Let's let's turn it up. Um, you're not seeing things. It's actually this dark in the shadows. So Chris. Chris won a competition over the radio, and um, and it was a com a competition to win like uh, three tickets to see like a, a a roller derby or something like that. And anyway, he he couldn't find anyone to go with, so he just ended up selling the other two tickets. So he went by himself, and then and then he was seated by this very affectionate, loving couple next to him, who are you know very lovey dovey, probably kissing in front of him and it made him feel really bad about being alone. So Chris went back, back home, he drank, he got drunk, and he recorded this video talking about how miserable his life is. So let's observe. This is Christian Weston Chandler, alias Christopher Weston Chandler, pre-1990 something. Anyway, I, I send this message to all the people. Or was it a basketball game? I can't remember now. Was it a basketball? I can't remember. Of the Green County School Board and such during the 1990s because threatening to put me in a mental institution, that was pretty much why we had to run away. They moved to Chesterfield County, and I had a better life over there. I had I had so many friends over there in high school. <clears throat> so this is an interesting di dichotomy because Chris, um, Chris, believes that he was happier in Chesterfield County, where he uh, moved to with his father, only his father, by the way, uh, to get to a different school. So then the the uh, Green County uh, School Board were apparently uh, threatening to put him into a, um, a, sp a special school, I believe, and his parents did not want that. So they went to Chesterfield County, went to a different elementary school and then high school, uh, ju junior high school as well, I, I believe. And that's, and that's where Chris really flourished, it seems like, from the sounds of things. He was saying, like, this is his, his uh, happiest time of his life. Um, and I'm wondering whether or not this is actually because... Uh, whether it's the uh, school life that that made him happy, or is it because Barbara was not in his life at this time? Because Barbara stayed back in Rutgersville, Virginia, in that house, and she was working there. However, Bob was at the time retired, so he could freely move to another place with his son, you know, and, and stay with the son as he was going to a different school away from his mother. So, is it? Is it is it the uh, people there making him happy, or is it the lack of Barbara making him happy? And I was just sad to leave when I had to graduated, because I had to leave all my friends. I had the good life, but we were forced to move back here. Mm. You people of Green County, you could not have left us, uh, left me and my family alone. You had to go and pay off the realtors just so this ha so this house here could not have been sold. I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind the house not being able to be sold. Don't get it, Chris. I don't think Chris gets it either. He just heard some some stuff from his, uh, you know, from his parents, and so actually, interestingly enough, the house number changed. From what it was originally, like at around the year 2000, even. So. Because if, if it had been so, we would have been able to stay in Chesterfield County. Interesting. And I would have been, I would have had a lot, a happier life over there. 
in right now than how I'm feeling. If right now, because we had, because we were forced to move back here because of you goddamn people who were afraid of autistic individuals. So I, I believe Chris is talking about a, a Green County conspiracy wherein the people who are afraid of autistic people would not let him leave Green County because they're afraid of autistic people. I think his reasoning is a bit flawed there, honestly. Yeah. <sighs> you individuals would know who you are. I wish my family and I did not have to move back here. I wish we could have stayed in Chester County because I had the better life there. And we were doing well, we were doing well, but you had to drag us down. You had to make us unable to sell our house here. You had to force my family to move back here. Well, I was okay, and I have a couple of friends, and I'm better off with stuff. Mm -hmm. That stuff is no good if I don't have if I don't have many friends. Chris would have easily gotten a girlfriend if he just sat up straight and remembered to be himself. I think being himself is part of the problem there. Just to share it with. It all just went downhill. I bet even Green County had something to do with influencing that goddamn Michael Snyder to see any recourse or anything like that to make him pretend to have a reason to kick me out, quote unquote, scaring his customers away. You goddamn greedy Snyder. It was this close to saying, you goddamn greedy j Damn, Chris. Take it easy. You know, Michael Snyder did not have... He was not coerced by the Green I was at the, the John Paul Jones Arena earlier tonight at the Extreme Action Sports. Extreme Action Sports. I had one four tickets the previous Friday, Friday of the last week, from 95.1. The few friends I have here could not could not come could not come with me, and I could not even find anybody in the congregation to to go with me. Because I misplaced the directory for one reason, and we, even with the help of uh, my pastoral counselor to get in contact with them, they did not call none of them called me back. And I had to sell I'm the not quite sure what tickets I had. Is. And I have to sit BMX? next to a lovey-dovey couple, which that was okay. Did I ever see Christian in person? It's kind of difficult to do when I when I lived in Japan at, at that time, and Chris lived in in not Japan. You know, I was trying to be good. I was trying to be good friend. You know, S sociable. But still, if that was if I had stayed in Chester County, and I with had I had a similar situation for an event there, I would have definitely have had my friends I had there. Moving back here, it just dragged me downhill. So I tell you what, Green County, you guys, you saw fit to make to make. Me and my family have to move back here just to make me sad and no more into my autistic shell. United States of non-Japan. You did it. How's it living as a non-Chinese person in China? I think it entirely depends on what part of China you're living at. Like if you were in Shanghai or Beijing, people wouldn't really notice. However, where I am at, everyone notices and everyone stares. But they smile, so... You know, they're, they're kind of amazed rather than, like, judging. And also just uh, pleasantly curious as well. Everyone is. If I'd stayed just for county, I would have been a whole lot better off. I wish you, I wish you would have let us to our house here. We could have stayed there. I wish I 
and I wish we did not have to move back to. Bob served in Korea, but not in the Korean War, though. He was like, um, he went in after the combat, I believe, but like he, he never actually saw any combat himself. He was just like repairing telephone lines or something, either during the war or like right after the war. But anyway, he was just part of like the military at that time, so he got, he got his stripes. I wish we did not have to move back here nearly 10 years ago. Food is Laugh all you want, trolls. Because I don't give a damn. You're all just immature, Sit naive, mm. condescending, soulless monsters. You don't care about others. You only care about yourselves. You only care about get your own laughs and kicks. It was there before the war, actually. Because you don't, you don't have your own social life. You threatened me from. from oh, Bob was part of the problem. Oh, in in terms of Chris, I thought you meant that Bob was part of the problem because of why the war broke out. <laughs> trying to seek one of my yo by scaring me on the internet and whatnot. Bob created North Korea. Incline Kai Cash. Damn. You can all go to hell. And all the people that were on the Green County School Board during the 1990s, then they forced us to have to move back here. Now, Bob is the reason North Koreans have electricity today. Sit and spin. That's strong. Hell. And Michael Snyder, I hope you go to hell too. And for everybody else, as for everybody else. They say, have a good day. Peace. Damn, that was dark. Anyway, let's uh wow. That that t-shirt is something else. Anyway, let's move on to this video. Next time. Ooh, this next stream is gonna be in two weeks. All things considered, hopefully it's gonna be good. Oh yeah. hopefully it's gonna be in two weeks. Uh that's the plan at least. So uh if not, then you'll find out in two weeks, I guess. So anyway, let's let's change scenes real quick. Let's move back to the studio for our for our closing statements. Of course, Chen went to special education schools. He could have been a decent individual. I have friends who are autistic but are very functional human beings. I imagine that's very true. Yes, autism is not a is not a you know it's a it's not a condition that you're like cursed with. You know, there's so much that that you can do you know in so many cases in uh chris did not get the help that he needed is uh is the, is the unfortunate truth um i believe not that many there were not that many uh sources of help that could have really helped chris like they can these days like back in the 80s and early 90s and um can't blame his very elderly parents to be uh, so afraid of you know treatments like that you know, especially like mental treatments and mental you know therapy and they're thinking of you know lobotomies and, and uh you know ele ele electroshock therapy you know this, this the, the, the kind of idea they had you know they watched uh one flew over the cuckoo's nest just like a, f a, f a few years before chris was born you know so yeah of course they were scared to do anything about it can i speak lithuanian yes wow who is this guy in chat That was interesting. <laughs> Bob divided to the Korean Peninsula. He's the, he's the lumberjack of Korea. Uh, do you, did you include the Michael Snyder interview regarding the previous video in your doc? I did not. I might actually, if I ever do a remaster for, for Rumble, I might actually do that. He turned out the way he did because of his parents. There's a reason he looks, sounds, and acts like grandma. Like a grandma. I mean, of course, it's just part of uh, it's part of autism to uh, copy your 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 surroundings and uh, try to blend in. You know, and this this is how I mean, this is how really a lot of people learn is uh, observing their environment. Though, um, for, for for example, someone like Chris is like really really absorbing the environment a lot stronger than uh, some some others might. You know, 
would you say China is safe for foreigners, at least where you are? It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely safe. It's safe for anybody, honestly. Very safe. As safe as Japan, if not even safer. What's up with these skies of Arcadia horns? Damn nice sound font. Thanks. It's, uh, it's a little bit from my upcoming Terra Nova documentary. This is the, uh, Part of the backing track. Will I include Gamer from Mars's Christian footage in the doc? Yes, that's coming up in maybe part 75, thereabouts. Any more yokai folktale docs? Maybe. How many parts until we get to the present day? 43. He, fr he frequently says hiding behind mother's skirts. Yeah. Do you think Chris's perception of himself changed after he met Liquid? I notice he tends to repeat uh, the quirks Liquid used to exploit. I'm not sure about that, honestly. I didn't notice. Love the music channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of Chris's mannerisms are picked up from his parents. That's very true. And also uh, from his parents and also any of the media that Chris watches. Do you know Lithuanian is closer to Proto-Indo-European than most other languages in the family? Yes, I do know that. Yeah. Um, do you expect your upcoming album to surpass Morgana? Do you mean quality-wise or popularity-wise? Um, in either case, no, I don't expect it to surpass Morgana, but... It'd be nice if it did. It's uh, it's quite different from Morgana. Is there a record for longest documentary? There is, yeah. It's not it's not this apparently, because I, I guess it's not finished or like it's um, you know it's a it's a multi-part series, so maybe it's a uh, you you can't really um, describe it like in the in in the same way that that you can describe a single documentary video. Maybe it's different. Maybe different. maybe I don't qualify. Documentary plans after Terra Nova and Quick. Um, I got a couple of scripts ready already, actually. And some are half ready. So there's one on Laika, the Soviet space dog. One on the worst poet ever, William McGonagall. There's a... One on the violent death of Disco. Um, yeah. There's lots of stuff that I, I would like to do more creepy-wise. <clears throat> Why do you advertise on the dock but not monetize the podcast version? What do you mean by that? I don't advertise any on this channel either, though. And I can't monetize the podcast version as far as I'm aware. <clears throat> like, you, like you can't monetize a podcast, like put ads in there, can you? I'm not sure. By the way, this this channel is not monetized. So if you're interested in supporting me in any, in any way, I have a Patreon link down below. See if anything there tickles your pickle. Also have a PayPal donation link if you're not into Patreon stuff. Also have a Fiverr link down below as well. So if you wanna, if you want me to record something, um, anything you like really in the documentary voice, that'd be pretty cool. Please check out my Fiverr. Got lots of positive reviews. You will not be disappointed at all. Collab with internet historian. We're into some very creepy music in the background. I like it a lot. That cruel German girl. Soviet space is interesting. I'm I'm interested in a lot of Soviet history, in general. Any news I can share on the GG Allen doc? You know as much as I do, honestly. <laughs> the doc is over two days long. Yeah, it is. It is now. It's gonna be three days soon. <laughs> You can absolutely monetize a podcast. I don't have that option, at least outside of the U.S. I see that the big old dollar button where um, where I upload my podcast, and it's not available outside of the U.S., at least at the moment. So maybe I can't. Like it makes you cry? Good. You'll cry when I release that, that video. Uh, do you regret starting the dock, all things considered, with what happened? Nope. Nope, I don't. A lot of podcasts do ads for other podcasts. Do you mean, like, are they paid sponsorships, or are they actual ads that you have no control over? I post my podcast everywhere. It's just, it's just the dock. It's just the audio version. It's available on Spotify, iTunes, wherever, wherever you might want to listen to it. 
We're sipping on some cold coffee at the moment. Am I about to get killed? What's this for? It's for oh, it's the Cape. It's the Cape Crozier journey. This is the uh, soundtrack for that. It's a f one of the most terrible, awful camping trips in recorded history. Check out the Terra Nova doc when it comes out. My mic fell down. I think it's I think it's tired it's holding me up. So it's about uh, time to wrap up. It's been a while. It's been an hour and a half. Uh, did you know Soviets had a more democratic system over nuke launches than the U.S.? POTUS had total jurisdiction over every warhead. Soviets had independent officers who could veto Stalin's orders. Interesting. Wow, the music is really dark today. <laughs> it's on it's on shuffle, actually, so I have no no control over it. But interesting. How many instruments do I play? I play a few. I have a have this whole thing here so I can play at least three. I play the keyboards, uh, bass, and guitar well enough, I guess, though I I played clarinet as well for six years. It was a long time ago though, probably can't remember how to, how to do that. Would you, what, would you could, what, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. when do we get apartment tour? That'd be interesting. I might not, I'm, I might have to do uh, some something with that. Uh, please check out my my Twitter. I'm gonna post something spicy soon, either today or or tomorrow maybe. You look like my dad as a kid. Thank you. <laughs> Love your dedication to this project and really enjoy these streams. Going back through memory lane with you and everyone, Gino. Uh, your work ethic is inspirational. Thank you. Have you ever played bass clarinet? No, I've never played that. It's trying to save for for foreigners because it's more strict than Japan, Gino. I mean, define strict. Find strict because um, it's all it's all based on how people treat the other people, and um, they're not violent. Definitely not violent. I think it's I think you're you're in a lot of trouble if you if you go outside of um, China and Japan. I think they're they're quite comparable safety wise. Special needs. Okay, sure. I don't get out much. Anyway. How many issues do you have understanding the written Chinese everywhere? Many, many, but since I read a bit of Japanese, I can kind of sometimes get the meaning behind them because the characters sometimes are the same. So anyway, thank you so much for joining the stream today. Is Living in China making it easier to go full-time with content creation? Yes, but not because I live in China. It's because I'm in a situation where I can afford to make this my full-time job and not do anything else in my free time that's why i hope you and your fiance will have a great wedding thank you very much thea and thank you for joining me today hope you all had fun hope you were hope you're not too scarred by what what you witnessed today so next uh christian video will be up in three weeks uh next uh stream will be up in two weeks so please take care of yourselves in the meantime and take care of someone else Terra Nova on this channel or um I'll be posting Terra Nova on the Gino Samuel 3 documentary channel link down below because I want to get it monetized but I will post about it so fucking much on this channel because I want people to see it okay <laughs> so please stay tuned for that I cannot uh, guarantee a date though soonish is is good enough for now so again Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye. Good night, good evening, good morning, good day. Bye, 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 wherever you may be.